Apple is not a software company. Okay, hear me out. Going back to the announcement of the very first iPhone, it wasn't necessarily so much so that the product itself was a game changer in terms of software, but it was the fact that you didn't need three different hardware products. You needed only one. So I've been trying to understand why Apple has been struggling so hard, especially in this new AI game. It seems like since the game changed from hardware to software, with really killer software features coming from the likes of Gemini from Google and other AI providers like OpenAI, Apple has really been slow to the game. And unlike with previous kinds of software features where you could wait for your competition to add a few software tricks and then incorporate those in your latest software, AI has presented a different challenge to Apple. If you take a look at some of the key features from Gemini. Gemini, what kind of shark is that? That's a zebra shark. They're also sometimes called leopard sharks. Zebra sharks are pretty easy to spot. It's very much clear that that's, that isn't something you can just copy from a competitor and you need something foundational in terms of your AI infrastructure. And so it seems like the story is very much still the same, even in the newest generation of iPhone claiming to be the most, the toughest iPhone ever built with the most Apple Silicon. Integrating hardware and software is fundamental to everything we do. So with Apple controlling all of the physical hardware components inside the chip, it claims it should be able to make a better phone. But will these dates pay off, considering that different OEMs like Samsung, Google, and others are catching up and even taking the lead in terms of offering AI baked features into their hardware products. Time will only tell. Peace.